Hey guys, it's Alex, and today what I'm going to do is something that, you know, is a little different. I'm actually going to show you tuning details on the 2018 Mustang. HP Tuners populated the file, and I'm looking it over just real quick, and look, I'm not going to give you in-depth details of the tune because I don't have my hands on one yet. We haven't tuned it yet, but there are things that you can see in the tune that make you go, shit, this is going to be a completely different car, different vehicle, complicated um, I'm looking at the transmission shifting alone and the car has the ability to shift from one to two or from one to three in the automatic transmission the new 10 speed that's coming out so let's just show you some details real quick and then I'm going to show you also a Shelby 1000 dyno pull just as it comes out of Shelby itself but for now let's take a look at the tune real quick look at some details okay guys I don't have fancy software that shows the screen of the computer but let's just do this real quick let's look at the shift schedule base now the way these cars set the shift schedule is one to two so this is accelerator position you know excel position so let's say this is 50 percent throttle and at 50 percent throttle at 625 output shaft speed so that is oss or basically your drive shaft or your output shaft when it's 625 rpm it'll shift to second okay so if you go wide open throttle at you know 100 percent pedal at 1700 uh, revolutions per minute of the output shaft that will shift in a second but look at this right here it has the ability to shift from one to three at about quarter throttle 375 uh, revolutions and this is obviously for you know uh, miles per gallon basically so again hp tuners did go ahead and populate the file it says 2018 mustang right there and i want to show you some stuff so now that is the base shift schedule you can look it over pause it do a screenshot whatever you want to do this is stock this has not been manipulated in any way obviously there are sections here where the car ignores the one two three shift okay it goes anything over 400 up with shaft speed and 35 percent throttle it still goes one two but anything under that actually 25 percent throttle 375 anything under that it seems to be good so this car can shift from one to three it can shift from two to four it can shift from three to five so look it has the ability to skip shifts around there's also a downshift schedule but i'm not going to look at that now this is the sport shift schedule okay see sport shift absolutely negates skip shifting it goes one two two three three four four five five six so there is no skip shifting on sport shift schedule so if you wanted to hit all the gears I guess you just select sport mode and the guy does its thing and it never does skip shifting. If you wanted to um, if you wanted to skip shift and have a little bit better miles per gallon, leave it in normal drive mode, normal mode, and it does skip shift every once in a while. Okay. Now let's look at da -da 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 -da, engine. Uh, let's look at spark. Let's look, you know, uh, let's look at Bordela OP. The spark tables are pretty similar to current Mustangs so it's not there's not no real I don't know there's nothing really to see here one thing I did see though I think I saw that there was a VE table for the fuel pump let me find it well I'll find it eventually I just don't want to waste anyone's time here so I'm gonna kind of look around real quick so it's kind of funny what lambda right here da -da -da -da, what lambda what that means is what Ford is commanding at wide open throttle so they go 0.85 at you know coolant temp and it actually goes all the way down to 0.82 now a lot of people are out there saying oh tuners are running way too rich oh my god actually Ford runs it at 0.82 so don't blame us if we do something similar but this is straight from Ford this isn't a manipulated file at all it is bone stock I keep forgetting there's this cool little search function in HP tuners type in fuel pump fuel pump volumetric efficiency Fuel pump VE. I can actually touch screen. This is touch screen. Come on, baby. It ain't working. Son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. So look, the fuel pump has a VE table and it's based on RPM and whatever the fuck on the left. Uh, <laughs> so, um, you know, it's kind of neat. That's different. It also has, um, what else does this thing have going on? Fuel DI right here. So the direct injection section. Um, a lot of guys that are doing EcoBoost and stuff are probably familiar with it, but I don't know really how it blends with the multi-port conventional style fuel injection, but just kind of wanted to show you that it is here. I wanted to see if this thing had something with exhaust similar to what GT350s have. GT350s have 
exhaust modes based on load that can open up but i don't think oh look shit here it is active exhaust man that's badass okay so the 2018 mustang has the ability to tune the active exhaust idle switch disabled open time lopey idle delay so again guys this is in there from ford so you know cam low uh ghost cam tune guys you know i'm sure ford had it in there so the load switch so i would think the load switch would mean that the exhaust opens out wide open no matter what in um you know depending on load um so it's pretty neat so by gear look at this active exhaust by gear no freaking way that's let me see let me see the, the 10th gear isn't that weird to fucking see 10th gear um so i don't know what this is active exhaust position first gear look at that active exhaust this is baller dude this is fucking baller uh active exhaust position on gear based on gear second gear Obviously, second gear will be a little more throaty. So this is RPM versus, I would think, pedal position. So at watt, that sucker's open, it looks like, and somewhere in the middle. So basically, your car will have variable exhaust and tunable variable exhaust right from the factory. That is awesome. So I wanted to show you guys that. You're not going to get that anywhere else, at least to explain it to you in a layman's term okay so i'm trying to do my best to let you guys know that your exhaust is able to be tuned by gear by load f fucking manually you name it it's there very cool now this uh has a pretty cool function where you can do comparisons uh you can open a compare file so let me open a compare file i'm not going to show you where i have it i have in super secret locations do 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 HP files and stock files do 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 stock A6 boom okay so anything in green is different than stock and what you do to cycle back and forth is this way okay so this is the main file the 2018 and I'm gonna click over to the 15 automatic file what are we looking at who knows right but who gives a shit but let's look at cut off dfco which is fuel cut off dfco which is means the rpm limits okay so your rev your cut off rev limit basically um for 2015 because it's in the center tab 7000 rpms for 2018 boop it goes up 500 rpm so i think this car has a gt350 style intake because the rpms went up 500 which is substantial and so in factory form, you can rip up to 7,500 RPMs. Freaking great, baller, awesome. Uh, let's go to general tab, see what else is different. Injectors are obviously different because they're um, in direct injection and see how it's grayed out means this isn't even, you know, you can't compare something that's not even there. Okay, let's look at airflow. Now what I like to look at is cold air. Is the cold air different? Is it bigger? Is it smaller? Well, this is 2018 cold air, and this is the top of the MAF curve. This is a MAF curve, guys. Anytime you guys, anytime you guys buy a cold air, we have to manipulate this so it jives. Some cold airs are dirtier than others. You know which ones I'm talking about. Some are cleaner and have a clean signal. Nothing's cleaner than stock. So this is 2015, 2018, 2015. 2018 so the 2018 seems to be flowing a decent amount more air so it's probably a bigger cold air who knows the size who cares right i'm just you know whatever let's keep looking electronic throttle driver demand so the throttle body looks to be bigger very slightly the effective area goes up so this is 2015 2018 2015 2018 and over here it doesn't get any bigger so maybe maybe it isn't bigger per se but who knows no this is the effective area so it should be bigger let me see yeah who knows i might be wrong on everything but i just want to show you guys what's going on over here um throttle position sensor slopes look at that that'll work effective area uh, i already did the predicted throttle angle effective area is this guy right here so it, you know what, uh, 2018, 5.26, yeah, who knows, I guess I got to get my hands, I want to see physically if it's bigger or not, it, it should be bigger. 
So the next time you're having a little surging or something like that, this is the transsection torque management section. Yep, look at all that freaking crap. So I'm not looking forward to vetting this tune, and I'm sure most tuners will keep this shit stock because it's just too difficult. But if you're going to supercharge it, all this stuff has to be manipulated. All this stuff has to be made proper all this stuff has to be taken into account oh my god look at auto shift property shift pressures ramp torque rate off going oh my god <laughs> so really quick we learned the rpm limit the you know the, the the rev limiter basically for lack of a better word went up 500 rpms which is substantial so that tells me this thing has like a gt350 intake style because it's still low uh low runner length uh whatever and it seems to actually rev higher which the only intake manifold that's still sort of looking stock size looking is the gt350 and it makes sense you can tune your exhaust based on gear based on load based on a whole bunch of things that's real neat so a lot of you guys that just want it to be wide open throttle all the time you could just select a mode or if you want it to be variable with gear throttle position or load it's in the tune um the cars run a little richer um it's manifold volumes a little bigger so if you guys have an hp tuner suite and you want to see calibration details on the 2018 automatic mustang it's available suffice to say we have our work cut out with us for us with the 2018 mustang anyway thought i'd give you guys a little vision as to what we do what we're going to see what's going to be coming up with the 2018 mustang it revs higher seems to be bigger engine it can't be a bad thing if it's going to be close to 500, you know, uh, crank horsepower. So, thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for watching. And this is a bonus clip of a Shelby 1000 as it comes from Shelby, making well over 1,000 rear wheel horsepower. Thanks for listening. What you make, Jake? <laughs> hey, let me take a look at you. Got the laptop on you? Yeah. 1118 horsepower, 904 foot pounds of torque. God damn. And this is that's how it comes from Shelby? This is straight from Shelby. Holy shit. Race gas and take a pull. God damn. It it's sounded real healthy. Sound like, what the fuck's this thing making? And is it a 4 0 Whipple? This is a 4 0 Whipple. Yeah. 4 0 Whipple. Wow. God dang. 1100 horse right from Shelby. <laughs> Well, that's not right. <laughs>